Well, there is no more putting it off. House householders have to tackle the census form tonight on behalf of everyone um, staying in their home. But, but how should you answer the question on religion if you only set foot in a church, mosque, synagogue, or temple for weddings, funerals, or other family occasions? Do you tick the box for no religion, or do you classify yourself as culturally a member of one of the faiths listed? Should you only tick the box if you go to church? Um, uh, Naomi, why are you so keen? I mean, just uh, your British Humanist Association. Why are you so keen that, uh, you know, that casual Christians, tenuous Christians, people who only go for weddings and occasionally sing, oh, dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways, and think, yeah, maybe there's something in that. What should they, I mean, why do you want them to say, not tick the box? Well, the census, uh, the, the question, what is your religion, is a leading question, and oh. it's also positioned among other kinds of things like ethnicity and nationality. And all those sorts of things encourage people to give a religious answer, even if that's a very weak cultural affiliation. So someone who may have been baptised but never stepped foot in a church since. So what we found for the last census in 2001, 72% uh, of the country tick Christian. Now, we know... 72% of the country are not practicing, believing, worshiping Christians. But the, but, but the, but the problem, but the problem, but the problem but is, they feel those are their origins. But the problem is, is that the data from the census, because mm. it's national statistics, is used to justify all sorts of things to do with public policy. It's used as if it does measure things like practice. So it's used to do things like justify an increase in faith schools, to legitimate the continuation of Church of England bishops. The, the and money the follows of this. Yeah. And what we also know is that looking at any other significant social survey. Uh, the number of non-religious people is far higher than is counted in the census. Mm. So what you'll find is 20, 30 percent of the people who tick Christian on the census would tick no religion on any other survey. And it's really important for people to realise that by ticking Christian, it's not just sort of saying, well, you know, I'm not religious, but I, you know, I don't mind. I'm kind of a Christian. It, it, it mm. means something in the context of the census. Paul from Theos. Well, there are three things you could measure. One is practice. Yeah. One is belief, and one is affiliation. Mm. Uh, the census clearly measures affiliation. If you think it measures anything else, then you've not read the question. It doesn't mention practice. What it does affiliation mean, belief. then? Uh, it means that people say, I, I'm a Christian. It does, it, it, you know, it, it might uh, relate to occasional practice. It might, but it's more, it's, it's, more, it's about cultural identity. Uh, uh, but importantly, the question wasn't asked to find out the levels of Christians. The question was asked to find out the uh, levels of Jews and Sikhs, other religious minorities. So, in, in a sense, we're having a debate about the Christian answer. The Christian answer is uh, kind of irrelevant, although it's interesting, because it contradicts the narrative that the British Humanist no. Association... It's, it's, you, you, you were going to come in. Yeah, I, I think it's up to people to define themselves. And Absolutely. especially if you happen to be an atheist, then don't force that on to, to force other people to define themselves in that way. <laughs> It's the whole thing. Some people might say, well, when push comes to shove, yeah, a Christian, you know. Is that right that those people tick that if box? If that's the identity that they feel in themselves, then, then that's good. And I think, you know, this is maybe part of an agenda of forcing that faith identity and faith communities uh, away from engaging with the state and government and society. And I think it's important that, that faith and religion is not treated as invisible, that it is important in people's lives, and why should we not... Why should the government not acknowledge that? Okay, okay, that's completely missing the point, actually. The point is that the data that is collected from the census, as was uh, responded in a parliamentary question last week, is used to do things like shape public services, no, it's not. like things like... No, okay, it's well, not. that was what they said in Parliament last week from the Office of National Statistics. That the is BHA how they have use produced the religion data. Documents. And it's not about... Nobody is trying British to force... Yeah. Nobody is trying to force anybody to uh, reply something that they, that they don't believe. We are simply encouraging people to think and say, look, if you are not... Religious, and you don't want these, uh, uh, but, you know, uh, but, more faith schools. But hang on, there is a, there is a, there, there, is a there, there is a point, isn't there? I mean, James O'Brien, there is a point, isn't there, that people who are sort of vaguely Christian might think, well, you can bet your sweet bottom dollar that Hindus are going to say they're Hindus, yes, of course there is. Muslims are going to say <laughs> they're Muslims, and Sikhs are going to say they're Sikhs, and just, so I'm going to tick that box. It, it, you know. This is why the third category of, 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 of mere affiliation is so useful because it sounds so sort of flabby and and, and hollow that I don't really see the point of registering it at all. And mm. I'm afraid that in the context, I think if we've we've seen pretty inclusive proof today of why um, legislation and government really should be blind to religion because the moment at which you say well I, I believe we should discriminate against these people or um, we should support uh, homophobia as long as it's in the context of a bed and breakfast because of my religion or, or indeed creationism being taught in schools or keeping your children at home because you don't like the idea of them being influenced by the 21st century the government the nation the state has a role 
to step in at that point. And religion cannot be a, a sort of joker in the it's a knockout game of life. You can't just hold up your joker and say, it's my religious beliefs. They're demonstrably untrue, they're fundamentally ridiculous, and they are profoundly dangerous to young people. But they're my religious beliefs, so I demand that they're That's respected. That's very dangerous, Nick. That's oh, exceedingly what? dangerous comments. Because that Are you going to tick recipe. the box? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, that's a recipe for tyranny. Is it? For a humanist <laughs> position, which you've just uh, essentially I mean, espoused. Um, I, I go and to church every Sunday. To and God okay, let, let's explore every this. Wait a minute, James. Let's France. explore this. Why, wait a minute, Catherine. That's very I mean, dangerous. Why is it? What he's why just is, explain? Why is it a recipe? Well, because for he's basically saying you're not going to take account of anybody's view if it is God. And I don't obviously this accept is Islam, but but I do respect. An Islamic point of view must be heard, even though I don't agree with them. And similarly, a Christian viewpoint has to be heard in society, as indeed a Jewish and all the other religions. Mm. What James has just espoused is basically saying, no, no way must we take account of religious views at all, because in his view, all religions are wrong. Uh, which is a religious uh, point of view. I, I, James O'Brien. No, that's talking. a religious point of view. He's a churchgoer. Yeah, I but he's expressing I, I'm a expressing religion. a view, and nobody can stop me from expressing that view. I don't think that my view should influence government policy. That should be influenced no, by don't. rational analysis of the facts and majority opinion, <laughs> not by minority religious no, Christina 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 Reece. Reece. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it's Christina really Reece. important that if people want to identify themselves as belonging to a certain religion, that's their choice. The thing is, yeah. what, you, what we cannot measure ever is what people believe inside their hearts. Mm -hmm. And you, people might say, oh no, they, they just tick it just, just, just because, they're sort of. But, but what we can't see is what people believe. But it's a cultural and, expression, isn't it? What no, are you, no, a Christian? No, because I think ultimately, I think people, I think people do have a lot of belief and a lot of faith yeah. and and you can measure whether or not they go to church yeah. you can measure what they do with it in terms of practice but what you cannot measure is is how it informs them every day day in and out day out and that's why um i, I know naomi probably was was very uh, distressed to see the last census with the 72 percent saying identifying themselves as christians but how do we know how do we know mm. that well, those people who identified themselves as Christian do not have a Christian faith? Well, because yeah, um, yeah. The, 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 there are a huge number of people who are not included in this particular debate. And those are people like me who have an attitude to life which is open-hearted, mm -hmm. open-minded, respect the essence of all spiritual traditions, and are spiritual but not religious. When they look at the census box, they might want to tick all of them. And then you've got the box down the bottom, what are you going to put in there? There's a huge number of folk in this country who have moved on in the 21st century to an approach that is inclusive and genuinely open-hearted. We're suggesting... Holistic and spiritual. We're, it's a holistic approach with mm. a small H, it's not a new religion, it's a cultural approach, and be suggesting that people put the word in holistic at the bottom to represent the fact that a huge number, maybe a third of this country, has moved on from being can't. located can't. in a particular That's faith fine. community I, I just, I just in a thought. much more general spirituality. Seema, do you want to cut coming here? Let's see yeah, if I, I, I actually really agree with that. I think mm. we're, we're in a time when actually people's faith is a bit more nuanced. People choose what values that they want to adopt. I mean, there's a lot, that, you know, they're in common. And also people go in and out of active faith. I mean, you may step out for a while and then actually something may trigger it for you. I think it is really important to have a sense of what people identify yeah. with. The, the, the big question actually is also how, how, you, how that data is used and it should not be misused yeah. by, you know, yes, by politicians if, if you for public policy. This, if you take this holistic approach, mm and you look at and respect the essence of all spiritual traditions, then you can extrapolate from it what's what useful and good in all of them. Can I come to the audience? You've had your hand up through all the three debates. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to no come worries, to you. No worries, no worries, Nicky. Yeah. Um, I appreciate and understand why the humanists are saying this, but I would ask them, if people want to say, as I am, that they're um, Christian and not the extreme Christians like we've seen down here, um, then why shouldn't they be able to, to say that? What, what's so wrong with it? Why are you so passionate there about is, it? What's the there problem? Is, there, is, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And, uh, 
I think Mr. Light is misrepresented here. My organisation is actually at the forefront of campaigning for people's right to believe what they want, whether that is religious or non-religious. It's not about... We're not telling anybody what to put down or saying people shouldn't saying put no down. 72. What we're asking pe people to do is think carefully about... We we're encouraging people well, I'm actually sure they to think about it's their It's patronising to say they haven't no, thought carefully. If people Precise. want to put down Christian or Jewish or uh, well, uh, non-religious... That's, that's, that's uh, absolutely fine. But the thing but, is, Naomi, if I may, I've got, you know, of all my Jewish friends, uh, I know a couple uh, believe in God, but I know uh, quite a few who don't. Yeah. But I know that all of them mm -hmm. will be putting your, your religion Jewish. Jewish. It's a part, well, essential well, part of their cultural I identity. Friends, I have friends, I have friends Actually, who are Jewish. Jewish. What? I have friends who are Jewish. I come partly from a Jewish family. I've had long conversations with them. And for the sake of the census form, mm. it's important cultural. to take yourself out of your cultural background cultural. Yeah, you're right. and put your heart there. Andy, right, you're, it's cultural, isn't I it? I accept that. I yeah. accept that we should have a measure of the culture where we are in this society. And so that's why I think it's important. That's why I don't agree with James. I think even though he comes from a Catholic background, you know, yeah. I say that you do need to measure where people are at. And you, you, do, do you agree with Andy on this one? No, there's nothing wrong with Oh, being, come on, you agree with him well, a little bit. I agree with, I agree with <laughs> anything if it comes to it sometimes. That's what being, you know, a relativist is about. Um, but <laughs> there's nothing wrong with being a cultural Christian. Um, and if people want to identify themselves as that, they will identify themselves as that. I agree with the British Humanist uh, Association that people should be informed as to what it is they're actually ticking so that they may tick the right box. To pick up James's point, I mean, in terms of the influence that religion may have. One of the most despicable situations we have in this country at the moment is the Church of England's opt-out from the equalities legislation. Yeah. Yeah. What does that actually say yeah. about the values of the Church of England? But let me just tell you, Nikki, there, there are 20,000 people in my parish. We've worked it out that 10,000 of them in any one year come through the door for all sorts of, of reasons. Like Queen Elizabeth I, I'm not prepared to make windows into people's souls about this because my ministry isn't just to the people who are actively involved in the church and come to the church every Sunday. It's actually to the whole parish as and when they may want. In, in France, um, they, they have a very strong secular tradition, so they don't ask about people's religion on the census. And I, I'm proud that in Britain we do acknowledge people's faiths because, for instance, I work as a teacher and as a practising Muslim woman who wears a headscarf, I couldn't do that in a French school because I'd be excluded. They say that's equal. Well, a non-Muslim, non you know, woman, uh, you know, can't wear a headscarf either, but if a non-Muslim woman doesn't want to wear a headscarf. So I think in Britain we've got the right balance and let's keep it that way. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, yes, sir, what were you going to say? Very quickly. Do opposites necessarily have to oppose? I mean, you can't prove you love somebody. It doesn't mean love exists. It's not a logical thing. I, I would also like to put all of them because I take a stream of each religion. What would you put in the box? Um, I'd like to put a bit from everything, a pick and mix well, yeah, sort of thing, of all, the, holistic. Yeah. of all the religions, yeah. Uh, Darwin, what, what box are you going to be ticking? Obviously, I'll be ticking Muslim. Uh, yes. why, is it, why is it important? Why is it important that all Muslims tick, tick that box? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's, a, it's not an important issue, yeah? But it is interesting. It's interesting to know how many people of different faiths and different traditions are out there. It's, it's, it's uh, for matters of, obviously, for people like me who try and go out and talk to people about different religions, it's, it's an interesting fact. I wouldn't say it's an important fact. Uh, I mean, last census, I wasn't even Muslim. I put down Jedi, but that's, that's a different issue. You're, Je you're Jedi, Jedi Muslim, Muslim, right? Yes. Well, you're, you're, a, you're a Jedi apostate. There yes. we are. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all very much indeed for taking part. We're back again next week for a very special debate on just one big question. Should we sever church and state? Join us then.